When I look around and see what the Lord has done for me, I tell you I don't know what I would do without the Lord. 
You ought to give him a praise. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, to see how great, how great is our God. Is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, to see how great. How great is our God. Oh, how great is our God. He would be how great is our God. All to see how great. Sing 
sing this old song of Zion come this far find no fault feel like going on come this far find no fault feel like going on come this far find no fault feel like going on Come this far and I find no fault. Feel like going on. Put your hands together, everybody. Open your mouth. Come this far, find no fault. Feel like going on. Oh, I come this far and I find no fault. Feel like going on. Trials are covering me, troubles all around. But I come this far and I find no more. Like come on, you didn't know that song. Come on, help me. Come this far, find no fault. Feel like going. This far, find no fault. I feel like going on. Trials are help me, Lord. Troubles all around, but I come this far and I find no fault. Feel like oh, somebody gotta sing this. Oh, I come this far. Find no fault, feel like going on. Yes, I come this far, find no fault. I feel like going on. Trials are oppressing me, troubles all around. But I come this far and I I feel like going. Oh Lord, I've come this far. I feel going on. Oh, I've come this far. I find no fault. Feel like going on. Trials are pressing me. Trouble. All around, but I come this far and I find no fault. Feel like going. One more time, just put your hands together and pat your feet and let the musician play all over the church. You got a tambourine, beat, just giving the praise and the glory. Come on, get your Everybody, oh Lord, if you come this one, you find no fault. Be given the glory. All right, we're going to sing it together one more chorus and another round. Lift your voice, everybody. I come this far. This far, find no fault. Feel like going on. Trials are oppressing me. Troubles all around. I come this far, I find no fault. Feel like going on. Oh yeah, come on, you that don't find no fault in the Lord.
Give the Lord a hand praise for the praise saint. But a personal praise. Ooh, glory. A personal praise. My God, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, if God had to stay with me all night long, if he hadn't talked to me and whispered in my ear, kept on telling me it was going to be all right, personal praise. If he hadn't jumped me out right in time, I was on my way down, but he pulled me out right in time. I didn't even see the danger. I didn't even see what was wrong. I didn't even see how far I had strayed. A personal praise. But God came in the midst of the storm he came. He caught the water, told the wind to subside. So I gotta pray, gotta pray, gotta pray. I gotta pray. I gotta pray, gotta pray, gotta pray. Gotta pray. I gotta pray, gotta pray, gotta pray. I gotta pray. I gotta pray, gotta pray, gotta pray. I gotta pray. I gotta pray, gotta pray, gotta pray. I gotta pray. Help me, somebody. I gotta pray, gotta pray, gotta pray. I gotta pray. I gotta pray, gotta pray, gotta pray. I gotta pray. I gotta pray. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise him, 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 praise I gotta pray, gotta pray, gotta pray. I 
said he dwells in the midst of praise that little praise that we just did was enough to carry you through the rest of the week Jesus if you believe the Lord it's enough to carry you through whatever your test is whatever your trial is whatever the complications are Jesus David said I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord. He said, the joy of the Lord was my strength. <laughs> he said, we could may endure for a night time, but joy cometh in the morning. Jesus. Anybody believe me here besides me? Because I sure believe it. Jesus, joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hey, glory, glory, hey, glory, glory, glory. Any sanctified people in this church? Any sanctified people in the church? Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Gee, hey, glory. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha.
Get your Bibles in your hand. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost in here. Asha Baba Sai. Ah. the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Get your blessing. Get your blessing. Let the Lord anoint you. Let the Lord anoint you. Let him anoint you. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Let him anoint you. Let him anoint you. Woo! There we go right there. Let him anoint you. that will you will be blessed just jump up on your feet and holler thank you Jesus and then you can sit back down you will be blessed the blessings you will be blessed oh yes you will oh yes you will you will be blessed uh, Shabbat say just point across the aisle tell somebody you will be blessed Woo! you will be blessed uh, thank you thank you <laughs> oh thank you sir you will be blessed. The devil is alive. 
Jesus, Jesus, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Asha, Vasa, Eshaba. Jesus, go over to the book of Judges. Asha, Vasa, Eshaba. The 16th chapter. Oh, shy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. The 28th verse. Hallelujah. Judges. The 16th chapter and the 28th verse. Mm. Jesus, the Lord gave me this word. I've been wrestling with it for the whole week, at least the story. Amen. And I don't know how we're going to turn out here today, but I'm going to read the scripture. Hallelujah. And then give the word that the Lord said, give to the saints. But first, I came across this in the middle of the weekend. He said, uh, I thought this was for me. And uh, he said, it is for you. But he says, for the saints too. And give it to the saints. So this morning I got up early. He said, write it down and give them what I have given you. It's a word of prophecy to the church of the living God and to the children of God. Mm. Anybody believe in the word of the Lord? I know you do. The scripture says, and Samson called out to the Lord, O oh Lord God, please remember me, strengthen me, O oh God, just once more, so that with one vengeful blow, I may pay back the Philistines for my two eyes. And you're familiar with this story. They had put his eyes out. Uh, he had fallen from grace, but he asked God in this prayer, oh, remember me and strengthen me. I was going to use for a subject this morning, uh, the shift uh, and subtopic, I want my strength back. Mm. Is that anybody in here? Is that anybody else in here? Jesus. Amen. Help me. I'm, I'm not going to be very long. Our time is moving on. We try to get out at a, at a separate time. But look at somebody and tell them, I want my strength back. Jesus. Hallelujah. That implies that you lost some somewhere along the way. And there might not be anything wrong with that from a human perspective. But what's more important than losing it is to say, oh Lord, remember me and strengthen me again. That's the shift right there. When you change, come to your senses. Here's the words of prophecy that the Lord gave to me. And he said, share it with the saints. He said, soon you will look around and not see a season of messy transition. He said, write this down. I wrote it down this morning. I didn't write it until this morning because I didn't get it all until this morning. But we'll see the beginning of an era of victories. The fear in your gut while you wait will soon be gone. You know, hallelujah. The scaredness that you feel inside of you body inside of your heart your soul you know how scared you can be sometimes he said that the fear that you feel in your gut will soon be gone soon you will feel a shift in your vision 
where you only saw the greatest battle of your life, he said, you will see the glorious new day dawning. You have seen battles, but God is getting ready to show you a new day. He gave me another scripture this week too. I don't know about y'all, but I read my Bible throughout the week. He said, I will do a new thing. Jesus. In the book of Isaiah, he said, he said, I'm getting ready to do a new thing and it shall spring forth. Mm, the word of the Lord. He said, you will really realize that the past few years have been a narrow and perilous path. You didn't expect and couldn't avoid, but it was also the path to your freedom. Jesus, what you've been through was for your deliverance. Clap your hands right now. Come on, y'all, let's worship the Lord together. He said, he said, it has become the path to your freedom. You will see the rubble behind you and no longer see failure and defeat but you will see his protection and his faithfulness and his promise over your life he said you will leave and he gave me this word strange word your nomadic season that's the season of wandering like a nomad going in and out from place to place. I'm talking about mentally, spiritually. Anybody ever been from place to place in your mind and your mind is not settled and you're trying to get it settled? He said, but you shall leave your nomadic season and your nomadic state of wandering and settle into safeness. Mm, the Lord is getting ready to take somebody and, and, and as I was going through this and I said to him, Lord, is this, he says, it's for you, but he says, share it with the saints because everybody won't receive this. But somebody in here this morning is receiving this thing. He said, the fog will soon dissipate over you and you will look behind you and see there were giants that you didn't even know that you defeated and you will see impassable obstacles that you didn't even know you overcame. Let me say to the children of God, you have already come through and don't even know it. That's why you gotta praise him. You can't wait till the battle is over, but you gotta praise him right now. You can't wait till you get out to praise him. You got to praise him right now. You can't wait till you're sitting in a victorious place. But God said, praise me right now. Somebody put your hands together and open your mouth and praise the Lord for what you have already come through. Hallelujah. Then he said to me, the principalities and the assignments that were set against you your whole life have been broken. Let me say that again, the, the principalities and the assignments, see, there was things that were set against you. There was things that was against you and you didn't even know it was against you. There were things, the principality and powers of darkness that the devil had set up against you and you didn't even know it was against you. But the Lord said, no weapon formed against you was going to prosper. You're still sitting in the house of the Lord. You're still sitting in the church of the living God. You're still clapping your hands. Didn't know the principalities that was against you were supposed to kill you and destroy you. But here you are with a praise. Here you are still in the land of the living. And that's why God said, don't wait to praise me when you get out of this. But praise me in the midst of it. Because you have been given the victory. Somebody just give God praise right now. Woo. Give him praise right now. Mm. 
Jesus. He said the generational cycles that have been there trying to define you. I know y'all saying, did he tell you all of this? Tell me all of this. Those things that you inherited from your mamas and your daddies and your cousins generational stuff that you've been trying to get rid of most of your life and couldn't get rid of because it has formed your personality and formed your character I feel like preaching I wish I could this morning and formed your character and formed your value system and your world view he said those things that try to define who you are I want to tell you that whatever Satan has tried to do to you has not defined you but all that it has done was empower you to be what the Lord wants you to be. What they said you were supposed to be, you're not that. But you are a child of God living in victory. You are a child of God living in power. You don't supposed to be in the house of the Lord this morning. You don't supposed to be sitting here saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, water baptized, tongue speaking. You're supposed to be out in the street somewhere, somewhere in the cemetery. And so the devil tried to define you, but God came where you was picked you up out of the mock and the mire, put his spirit in you. You gotta praise, gotta praise, gotta praise. Throw your hands up and holler, yes, Lord. Lies tried to rob you, Jesus. Ties tried to bind you, but you broke free. Satan tried to make you. He tried to blow pain in your face, but you broke through. Soon you will feel free. Touch somebody and tell them you're going to be all right in a few days. Oh, Lord. Come on here, look at somebody on the other side and tell them that you're going to be all right in a few days. Oh, Lord. Lift your hand up and give God praise for just being all right give him praise for just being all right soon you're going to be free the warfare is going to be over you're about to have a breakthrough no more laxity no more defeat no more no more crying all night long and all day long God is lifting the burden off of your shoulders. Uh, take the blindfold uh, off of your eyes. Uh, put on anointing. Uh, tell the Lord, uh, all that I want uh, is my strength back. Uh, all that I want uh, is my power back. You got a future ahead of you. Uh, Satan said you don't have a future. Uh, but look at somebody and tell them you got a future ahead of you. Uh, all that I want uh, is my strength back. Uh, I don't want the crowd to follow me. Uh, I don't want the tons of money around me. Uh, but all that I want uh, is my shout uh, and my power. Uh, Anointing, I'm ready to make the ship, ready to make the change. Clap your hands and give him praise. Give him praise, somebody. I'm almost through here today. Jesus, hallelujah. I feel my healing, I feel my strength. I feel my power. The Lord said, tell the saints, your shift. Can I get a witness in here? Lord, your shift is coming. That's what happened to Samson. He had failed, but his shift came. He said, now Lord, all oh, that I want is my strength. That's all God wants you to say. He don't want you to say nothing else. He, he has forgiven you. Jesus, he has broken the generational curses and the cycles that bound you all these years. The ones that the devil trying to keep you caught up in. 
Jesus. He's coming to your house and bless your children. Can somebody say amen to that? Yes, Lord. Other people in your family can't even, their kids won't even come to church. But he don't touch your children. They have been baptized. Yeah. And the ones whose children haven't, they're going to be. Jesus, you that got backsliding children, they're going to come back to the Lord. Sure as I stand here. Because God said all that he want to hear from you is I just want my strength back. I don't want nothing else. Yeah. Jesus, Lord have mercy. He said no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Samson said, Lord, but I made a big mistake. But the Lord said, the shift is about to come. Jesus. Let me say this. Samson's victory didn't come out of his hair. It came out of the fact that he asked God to strengthen me. That's where it came from. Listen, we're getting ready to have prayer here. And then we're going to go on home. But stand with your feet all over the house of God. I'm not going to anoint you separately. But stand on your feet and put your hands in the air. Put them, stretch them out like this. Stretch them out. That's right. Now I want you to close your eyes because I don't want you to look at nobody around you. You don't need to know who's looking at you. <laughs> but I want you to just tell the Lord. I want you to get your mindset first. Think on where you're being. Think on where you are. Think of the trouble that you don't have. Think about how the devil don't try to stop you but he's a liar. Lying, lying, no good, dirty dog. <laughs> but here you are. Tell the Lord, say, now Lord, I just want my strength back. Come on, I know some of you are saying to talk to the Lord and we, we, we can't hardly get you to praise him. We have to make you throw your hands up and make you open your mouth. Open your mouth and, and become Samson. <laughs> say, say, Lord, all that I want is my strength back. Jesus, Lord, I don't want nothing else. Lord, not right now. I don't want nothing else. I don't want no great name. I don't want nobody looking up to me. Jesus. Lord, I'm not worried about no government check right now. Lord, I just want my strength. And let me tell you why, Lord. So that I can really serve you and live for you. Oh. You don't got older. Some of us, we don't got older. And we need to tell Lord, now in my old age, all that I want is my strength. I'm waiting on my shift oh, to occur. I'm waiting on you to turn the thing around. I'm waiting on you, waiting on you, waiting on you, waiting on you. Jesus, hallelujah, you now receive it. Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Clap those hands and receive it right now in the name of Jesus. I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh, one woman, an old woman, couldn't hardly talk. But she went off in the tongue and said, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, that's all the Lord wants you to do is see, see. Anybody else see it with me besides me? I see it, I see, I see, I see.